Greetings and welcome to an LGR blurb. And yeah, I'm talking about the Thermaltake X-Ray again because this thing has generated some controversy. Well, I don't know about controversy, but <laughs> some comments and opinions I was not expecting to receive. We'll put it that way. So the big thing that people seem to be getting stuck on, some people, not everyone, not even most, a very vocal little minority are trying to say that I had no idea what I was talking about and this is not actually made for computers. It's clearly made for cars and I'm either stupid or made it up for clickbait reasons. And <laughs> this is odd where I don't have to make things up for clickbait. They're odd. That's why I'm covering them. Yes, this is actually made for PCs. I, I thought it was obvious. I thought I made it pretty obvious in the video, but just in case you're not aware, Thermaltake is a PC company. They make computer parts, not car parts. I know it resembles something that goes into a car. I know that it has this badly photoshopped image of an Alfa Romeo center console here, but they stretched it horizontally. You can tell it's badly photoshopped on there. Again, I mentioned this in the Oddware episode, but anyway, bears repeating, I suppose. This is also a thermal take device up here. This is a hard Kano 12, I believe is what it's called. Uh, but yeah, it's got nothing to do with this. This right here, is just photoshopped onto a car console. And yes, it says four car expansion accessories, but this is meant to plug in car accessories, not plugged into a car. Application in car accessory. So yeah, there's some, I, I, I guess in hindsight, I see that there may be a bit of uh, confusion from the lackluster translation. It's a Taiwanese company and Back in the day, they did not have the best <laughs> translation to English. So there's some confusing things on here. I will admit that. But I mean, it still is made for computers. I wasn't making that up. It really is. It's just made to look like something that would go in a car and happens to have some very badly translated stuff. This is a five and a quarter inch wide uh, thingy. So it fits in a five and a quarter inch drive bay. It's got four pin. Uh, Molex connectors for connecting to a PC power supply. But again, five and a quarter inches wide. And some people were saying, well, that's the same, this is the same height and width as a car stereo. So you could fit it just in there anyway. And then, and then, but no, this is something I picked up at Goodwill just to prove this point. <laughs> this is just some cheapo uh, stereo receiver. It's newer than uh, the thing here, the thermal take, whatever x-ray. But this is known as a half size or half height uh, DIN. This is just a standard thing. And this is a seven and, well, crap, I don't remember. Seven and an eighth, seven and a quarter. But it is wider, as you can see. It is very clearly wider and taller. So while you could fit this Thermaltake X-Ray inside of a car stereo, like head unit space, you'd have to do like some adapting and make it work. Not only that, but the power that it takes is completely different. It is still Molex, but it's not the same type. This one in particular is a, what is that, 12 pin? I've seen a lot that are 12 pins. Some are like 14 pins. Some are a lot more, a lot less, whatever. There's different types of power connectors on the back. Anyway, while this maybe could be adapted to put in a car, that's not what it's made for. This is not a thing for cars. This is a thing for PCs. Always has been. It, it, it's, that's the end of that, I hope. <laughs> uh, all right, so the other thing that I wanted to touch on, uh, another, just little minor things. And that is, is this an ashtray or is it a cup holder? I think it's kind of both. <laughs> so here's the thing, it comes out of there and it also has this little slot right there that looks like somewhere that you could, uh, you know, rest a cigarette. And the fact that this is like a removable tray, you can just take it and dump out the ashes and put it back. What I was reading online from when this first came out, reviewers were saying, oh, this was here for catching condensation. So I put a little note in the video saying that's probably what it's for. But I don't know. I mean, sure, it could double duty as an ashtray. It is still plastic. And I don't know about you, but it sounds like a bad idea to enclose this inside your computer and ashes maybe blown around with the who knows what. This is not enclosed on the top or bottom. So ashtray inside your computer is maybe not the best idea, but <laughs> as someone who worked on a lot of computer repairs, like freelancing back in the day, it's what I did for a number of years through college, just repairing people's computers and whatnot. And so many of them were absolutely full of ashes 
uh, but more so just like actual uh, tobacco residue. It's just gunk. It builds up on the fans and the cooling. So not a lot of people don't care. They probably would use this as an ashtray, but I think this is actually for condensation. And this little notch here, you know, is just for lining it up so it only goes in there one way. However, this is curious. So it kind of looks like it was an ashtray and maybe they just second guessed it. Like I have a pencil here. I guess that's maybe about the width of a cigarette. It feels, or looks like it. Um, you know, totally work as an ashtray if you didn't have this insert. Because of this insert, it throws everything off. Now the insert or the, the little indentation doesn't work. And this is why I was, I didn't come down definitively either way in the odd way episode. Is it an ashtray? Is it a cup holder? Yes, why not both? But probably more of a cup holder with a condensation collection. Why would they have both this indentation for this and this if they weren't always intending for this to be a cup holder? Basically, this is throwing everyone off. And I did not notice it when I was making the video or it would have thrown me off more. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that's, that's some things. Um, there was something else I wanted to uh, talk about. Oh yes, that is uh, the power. How much power? Is it actually drawing like what kind of an increase is it doing on the computer itself? Like when you're powering this on and you got your computer running, like uh, can I hook it up to a kilowatt or some kind of power measurement thingy? Uh, yes, I can. Let's go and do that. All right, so I've got it plugged back into the Megaluminum Monster over here. And this is something that I really should have done in the uh, <laughs> original video, but. I didn't. Well, I'm gonna take this filter off because it's making the screen look weird. Uh, yeah, this is a kill a watt easy power tester, look at her kind of thing. 120 volt power systems like I have here up to 15 amps current, 1800 watts max power. It's awesome. You can test all sorts of things as far as uh, what, what kind of power is being drawn. So what I'm gonna do is take the computer's power and plug it in here. And I'll plug the kilowatt and the computer into the wall, and this will tell us what kind of power is being drawn from the power supply as we do various things with the thermal take x-ray while the computer is running. So yeah, this should be interesting. All right, so right now we can see it's on a 120 volt. Computer isn't actually plugged in 60 hertz. We'll go to wattage here. And I'll plug in the power supply of the computer. Computer not turned on yet. And you can see it's already drawing just a little bit because that's what computers do. Let's power on the PC. And we'll see the wattage go up. And yeah, okay. So we're getting between 85 and 90 watts just powering on here, nothing crazy. Uh, they, what, uh, blah, blah, blah. Power supply that's installed in here is a 300 watt, um, it's an A-open thing, slightly newer power supply. I think it's like from 2000, 2001 or something. What used to be in here, like forever ago when I first got this machine and before I did the rebuilds on it, it was like 150 watt or something. So I needed a little bit more just for all the different components I was gonna put in there. I'm going to take the um, thermal take and just plug in the cigarette lighter portion and have that going. And yeah, it jumps up, oh my goodness, immediately to around 200 watts as it is uh, getting the cigarette lighter part all warm. Yeah, that's a pretty significant jump. Here, pop out in a second here. There it is. And you can see it goes right back down to around 85 or so. So yeah, that's, that's a lot of wattage. I'm curious now what it might be like if I have some of the other things plugged in there. So I'm just gonna plug in the uh, car adapter here, the AC adapter. So we can get 120 volt, just regular stuff going. So it's plugged in here and it only pops it up by a couple of watts, a few watts, whatever. Uh, let's plug in, let's see, like I had my speakers plugged in. Yeah, it's, it's quite the chain of things. Plugging in the speakers now. Okay, so it's up to, yeah, around 90, 91. I think these are like five watt speakers, so that makes sense. Power supply is rated for 21 watts. Unplug the speakers there. Uh, phone charger, let's try this. Phone charger is plugged in, still hanging around the same there. Really all it's doing is lighting up a little blue LED. And now plugging in my phone. 
Yeah, there you go. 91-ish watts. Pretty good. Cool. <laughs> it really is just lighting up the cigarettes, man. That's that's what does the most power, and that's what people were wondering about. Like, what kind of a strain is it going to put on the power supply? And, you know, I was wondering that too, but not enough to, to dig out the kilowatt from storage. Glad I did, though, because that is fascinating to see. One other thing that I do want to try really quick, though, is getting the lighter going while, like, a like a demanding game is going on here. Graphics card, sound card, CPU, you know, oh yeah, it's, it's a game. Not the most demanding, but it'll be a thing. So I'm just starting up a map here and it will be loading. Uh, and one thing to keep in mind too, is this is actually using that SCSI 2SD adapter and there's no IDE hard disk in there. And it's also not making use of the CD-ROM drive. That would probably up the wattage that it's pulling just a bit, but. All right, and there we go. The game is running. It is, yeah, moving around in 3D and whatnot, the map there, and it's not too much more, only, yeah, about six or so more watts than when it's just idle. And of course, getting the cigarette lighter lighting, and yeah, there we go. So that's still not gonna like push it over the edge, considering this is a 300 watt PSU, but <laughs> it's still, you know, it's getting there. And by 2004 or so, whenever the Thermaltake X-Ray came out, higher wattage PSUs were definitely more of a thing. So I don't think this is ever at any big risk of uh, really damaging anything, especially with the fuse that's on the Thermaltake X-Ray and all that. Another thing I'm, I'm curious about, let's see, what's the amperage like? Got the cigarette lighter going again. So 2.6 amps. And dropping back down to about 1.22. So yeah, I mean, it does up things a bit. Anyway, that's about it. Um, those those few <laughs> follow-ups to the Thermaltake X-Ray. It's a fascinating system. Or, well, it's not a system. I mean, kind of. It's a cup holder, ashtray, cigarette lighter system. <laughs> Plugs into your computer system. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.